Hello everyone and welcome to the show today. I am so happy to have Tom Berger here um, and today we're going to talk about the Slowpoke Western Art Show. For those of them out there that haven't heard of this Western Art Show, why don't you fill them in on what they can expect and is this a show that they can actually attend? This is a live show and uh, we think it'll probably be the first live art show in California. Touch on, we're going to meet a few of the artists here coming up, um, but touch on the type of art that people can expect because I know sculptures are a really hot commodity, right? So we have both paintings and sculpture and photography in this show. We have a very unique event this, this year for any art show. We have three high-end sculptors in the show. And so you mentioned that this is going to be held there in uh, Solving as it has the past how many years? Then prior to that, where did Well, it so we, we started the Slowpoke 10 years ago uh, here in Pismo Beach at Seaside Gallery, which at the time I owned. And after about five years, we outgrew that. And so we moved it as a separate business and we moved it over to the uh, Pismo Beach uh, Veterans Center where we had about 2,500 square feet. And we staged it there for two years. And then we got an invitation from Pat and Monty Roberts to move the show to their ranch so that we would have a chance to take the place of the Pepper Tree Art Show, which had gone out of business right. about 10 or 11 years before that. So we are now out on, I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous ranch. Uh, you go to see Western themed art uh, with Western horses. Uh, you can hear them, they're snorting around, uh, you'd smell them. Uh, so it, it, just, it just adds to the atmosphere for this kind of a show. And by the way, Western art means a lot more than cowboys and Indians. So, you know, uh, a, a painting of San Francisco Bay is Western art. A painting of Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island is not Western art. And you say, well, what's the difference? Well, the colors are different, the architecture's different, the landscape's different, and there's really nothing about the East Coast that relates to the discovery and the attitudes that, that we find here on the West Coast. So, Western art to us is very broad. It's wildlife, it's landscapes, it's contemporary art, it's, it's uh, abstract art. We have some abstract art in the show this year. Uh, seascapes, landscapes, so if portraits. So learn about art, so, you can attend. This yeah, this, this is a great place. So we limit it to about 25 artists. We have 24 this year. Uh, this allows a visitor to come in, talk to each of the artists if they want to, get to know them, get to know their art, and at a relaxed pace, make a choice uh, and hopefully right. buy some art. And they don't have to worry about looking at 200 more right. artists that, that you do so in a big city show. Yeah, right. exactly. We call that the Walmart effect because you, you get totally <laughs> lost. But what did I come in here to buy? Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I know I've been before and I'm excited to attend again this year. And we encourage you all to, um, to be in support of Western art. I mean, this is something that we don't have to look at as just something our, our great grandparents or grandparents were into. Um, you know, go out and learn about art. And if it's not Western art, just learn about fine art in general because I know I've certainly learned a lot from you over the years. And, and this art is not just local artists. We have artists coming in from Colorado Springs, New Mexico, Arizona, throughout the state of California. So, you know, just like the, the former show we're trying to replace, these artists come from all over the Southwest to participate in the show. So it's a unique event. Uh, and guess what? You don't have to fight L.A. traffic to go to a nope. big city show and see it. Okay. So nope. it's in a come out to the Slowpoke. Central yep. Coast.